So it's been quite a while since I did a night launch rocket. And when I saw Jim Green's Blinkosaurus last year, it inspired me to do another one. I call this rocket the light show. Now, rather than just show you the flight video, which is going to be at night, I thought I'd start with the actual rocket where you can see it in the day and in the shop. This is one of the harder rockets to prep that I've ever built, so I figure you should suffer through that with me. Here's the main airframe, which I couldn't break because of the LED strips. There's 20 strips of LEDs, each individually addressable and each capable of going through any color. So we have the main airframe with the LED strips. Inside that is this bay that contains massive batteries, one battery per five strips, and an Arduino to control the light pattern. This slides into the airframe. On the outside, I have an acrylic tube that acts as a shield for everything. The nose cone also lights up. Here's the avionics bay, flight avionics, as well as an Arduino here to control an LED ring. The Tripoli night launch rules require a strobe. So even though I have a ridiculous amount of lights, I still had to provide a strobe. So on the pad, this light ring cycles through the rainbow, but after liftoff, it turns into a strobe. The avionics bay fits in the nose. This bay, power bay for the lights fits into the main airframe and this sleeve fits over everything else. The first step in prepping is to insert the power bay and light control unit into the airframe. Each battery drives five strips and has a separate voltage regulator to drop it down to the five volts needed. So first thing connect all four batteries to their voltage regulators. And then second thing, connect the voltage regulators to the light strips, all four of them. The Arduino itself, of course, also needs power. So there's another set of connectors for that. Okay, now to test the lights. Each bank of five strips has a separate switch. This switch just enables the power. There's a separate switch that connects the Arduino CPU. And as it boots up, each time it runs through a cycle, it flashes. So things are working properly. The next step is to get this bay into the rocket. This will slide all the way down to the bottom so while I've left the wires as short as possible, there's still going to be excess that will have to pull through from the bottom. So the first step is just to fit it in. There's a lot of stuff here that needs to go in smoothly and without binding or disconnecting. And finally, the excess wire needs to be tucked into the space between the motor mount tube and the outer tube. It's a lot of wire, but eventually it'll all go in there. And then finally, the acrylic sleeve slides down from the top and covers the whole rocket. There's a few holes for screws to keep it secure, the rail buttons, and then little arming holes here to turn it on when nighttime comes. The power bay locks into the airframe with an all thread that runs through the length and anchors into the bulkhead at the forward end of the motor mount tube. But obviously once we have this slid in, there's no way to reach in with your hand, so I had to make a tool. This slot here fits over the welded eye bolt and allows it to be turned, locking the whole thing in place. The harness threads through and I can pull as I slide into the airframe. Then once it engages with the bolt, I can turn it 
to tighten down and screw the bolt in firmly. And here's the rocket with the lights turned on. The nose cone is still off, but the lights are on. This is half intensity in a fully lit shop, so I think it's going to be extremely visible at night.